What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a Vintage Cube Draft. We're probably going to do a stipulation. we got a bunch to do before the Vintage Cube leaves. Just to be clear, this is on the green screen. It's not part of your... Actually, it might be this chair. No, it's something higher. I don't know what it is. Is it this? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's gone. There we go. I fixed it. There you go. Now you don't have to worry about it. Anyway, as we were saying, stipulations. We're doing stipulations. I hope you had. I hope you had a nice weekend, nerd. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very nice. Yeah, well, I figured it was. It, I was like, as long the, I'll, I'll always try to take care of it. But if it's like part of the green screen that's like way back over by the wall, I'm just like, I don't want to get up and deal with that. Like, I'd sooner just clip the the camera so it doesn't show up. But um. Thank you. J Money, thank you for the reset, buddy. Day's going all right. I got kind of a like a like a mild headache. It's more like a fogginess, I would say, than a headache. I don't know how to explain it. It's just kind of like I don't know. Doesn't matter. Okay, stipulation, stipulation. Um, I, let's do this Jojo MKE stipulation because hers are always fantastic. This one is, that's legendary, dude. In honor of the new gods, draft legendary critters and planeswalkers. Regular exceptions don't have to play all, just have fun. Because Jojo MKE is a saint and she, she's like one of the most reasonable people who's always like, Dude, I don't care if you play every card. Like, you don't have to. If if like, if like there's like a swords and angels simulation, it's like you don't have to play every single one. Like, just just have a good time. It's such a good. It's such a. It's such a rewarding feeling. I'm always like, this is nice because like, I'm trying to do the spirit of the stipulation, but also trying to like, not ruin like a whole draft and just like. You know, you get it. Anyway, Jojo MK, all legendary stuff. I'm gonna take this Garrick because I think it's good enough to take. And uh, nothing else is really legendary here. Ooh, Gideon, huh? Are we? Can we be Bant Super Superboys, or we can be Sultai Superboys? Um. Sultai is always the right answer, but I think Gideon is actually stronger than Yogmoth. And I kind of like this combination. We're going to take Gideon here. Elspeth. Ooh, we can just. This is basically just super friends, right? We could have had a Liliana too. All right, we'll take an Elspeth. Sylvan Library. Ooh, that's a treat. Oh, man. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Um, I'm going to take this Temple Garden because we're three colors right now. So let's Temple Garden it up. I would hope Cultivate Wheels. That was definitely on my on my radar there. Oh, Stirring Wildwood is nice. Pelucranos is also fine. I think we got a lot of four drops right now. I'm going to take the... I just want to make sure we can actually cast our things. Elspeth conquers death. I mean, I think this is better than Garrick. And obviously we're not taking Iona. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I'm going to take this because it definitely has a legendary feel, right? It's a saga. It has, oh, Lyra's legendary. So it's Gideon Blackblade, but I think Lyra's probably going to be better for us. Okay, well, we are neither of these two colors, so I, I feel like it'd be, it'd be a little rare. I'll just take an oust just in case Wild Yawgmoth comes back. I don't think it's likely we're going to be black here. 
I'll take the unexpectedly absent. Oh, wow, Liliana came back. Jeez. Uh, I'll take this just in case. All right, lots of black cards came back, so that's a thing. Parallax wave, don't care about that. Unfortunately, Cultivate did not come back. Hmm. Mm. Uh, I think Savannah's probably going to be able to Lumbering Falls here. Yeah. I mean, we're obviously heavy white-green right now, so I'm just going to take this first pick, Savannah. I mean, I, actually, that was a mistake. I meant to go back and look, but... um, Oh, Fractured Identity? For sure. Oh, Scarab God, though. Interesting. I think we have to take Scarab God, right? I mean, this could be a legendary creature. Eh? I think we have to take Scarab God. It's in the stipulation, guys. I love Fraction does make legends. This is definitely that was definitely the argument I made. Let's take the Bayou. The only thing we're passing here is a Nahiri, and if I can avoid being red. I, I definitely will. <sighs> well, this is interesting. Rakdos Signet is red. Scalding Tarn is red. Tarn does have the potential to get a blue land. Yeah, Shouldred's legendary, but I might just want to take Scalding Tarn here. Like, our green-white portion of mana is looking good. I, actually, this is blue. I think it's just fine. God, there's a lot more legendary creatures than I was expecting there to be. I guess we're taking Vorinclex. Because we're not taking Kithian. Yeah, that's Vorinclex, I guess. Um, So I don't know if I can say there's no legends in my colors. But I don't want to assume that either. And usually Jojo Mki is extremely reasonable with her stipulations. She's always like, hey, don't worry about it. Just have a good time, you know? <laughs> it's just super, it's as a content creator who like sometimes gets steps where it's like, oh, I just gotta, I'm just gonna go 0-3 with this step, you know? But it's okay, because like it's it's whatever. But um, it's a very nice change of pace because I don't feel like I'm completely like locked into whatever's happening. So here we have... Duretti, Prime Speaker, Bolus Citadel, and Cosima. This is actually a like the, I, I'm actually like like I said I'm, so, I'm surprised at how many legendary permanents there are in this cube. I mean I think we're just taking Cosima here. The problem is there's not a lot of legendary creatures. Uh, Orzov Signet actually seems like a great pickup here. I am gonna take it over Thalia. It is fixing, which we desperately need here. Yeah, definitely, Foxy. I agree with you completely. Like, I feel like it's just less fun if you're like, you can only take cards that cost one mana, and then you're like, all right, I'll take this one. Because that actually limits the choices for you. I don't like steps that limit the choices. I like I like steps that restrict that 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 kind of restrict your options, right? Like, if I'm only able to take a certain thing, that's a lot harder than if you're like, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I mean, I think you guys all understand what I'm saying. Like. The point is that, like, we're definitely taking more slots here. Um, I think I think good steps should give you decision trees, right? Like, you should be like, if this was like only take a three color, three three casting cost per minute, I'd be like, okay, well, these are actually, you know, this is a, a a good a good choice to have to make, right? It's either Vista or Lumbering Falls. I think we're going with Lumbering. F Vista's got to be better, right? Okay, this is actually Ponder came back. It's actually surprising. There are no legends in this pack, so that's that's pretty decent for us. I'll take a ponder. Um, I guess we're I guess we're taking Nahiri here. 
Oh, Shua Garner with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, shoulder came back. Well, all right. We already delve. We already we already delved into black. So. Oh, it definitely would have been reasonable to take the fractured identity, but like, like that's not what the stip says, right? It says draft legendary creatures and planeswalkers. You know, like so. Those are my priorities. Like, if it's, if it's only draft draft the legendary creatures and planeswalkers you want to, then there's no real challenge to the stipulation. You know what I mean? I'm going to take Casualties of War. Still trying not to be red here. Uh, oh, wow. Two, look, two legendaries came back. Neither of which are very good for us, but I'll take the Bolas of Citadel, I guess. Interesting. Liliana. Gonti. Man, too bad this guy's not legendary, am I right? Um, no lands either. Copperline Gorge. I might take Devoted Druid because it kind of it kind of makes our life easier. No, Prime Sphere shouldn't be in the cube. That's just my my firm belief. Like I think it's a very I think it's just not a good a vintage cube card. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Druid under the fixing. Ooh, demonic tutor. That is somewhat like power. It's it's awkward that Omnath is is red, and that's the one color we're not. We're also not really Urza-ing. Triad is legendary in our hearts. Yeah, we'll take the is it demonic tutor? That's not opposition. I don't think we're not an opposition deck. Although we do make tokens, tokens, two tokens. And we're not not nearly blue enough. Um. Well, I mean, our options would be like this, this, this when it's under the the power. I consider this Soul Ring um, and Mana Drain and Channel. Even I think those are all uh, honorary power. I'm going to take Demonic Tutor. I just think it's... Oh, Scrubland is fantastic for us. I would like some blue duels that we can search for with this one Scalding Tarn that we have. Just something that something that makes the Scalding Tarn do something in our deck, maybe. You know, just... Hmm. Linvala here. And then is really the only option, but I actually think is fine. This is awkward, because the only card we can, like, reasonably take is Dragonlord Atarka. I'm not taking Krark. Yeah, we'll just take the Atarka, I guess. Mm -hmm. See, this is a time I am going to... I'm going to veto taking... We just don't have anything. Like, Brawl's just not good for us. We also do have Nahiri and Dragonlord Atarka. If we end up getting anything that lets us play the red... I'm really looking for, like, a two or a three drop here. I might just be Phyrexian Rager, comically enough. It's just a guy we can play. Yorion. No lands. No other legendaries, right? I mean, Yorion is definitely playable. We can also just not play the shoulder and the scarab. Uh, well, we also have black things, so it's not really... Huh. This one's tricky. One mana D2. That's really what I'm looking for. I'll take the Orion. Uh Oh, Jace Friend's Prodigy is nice here. So is Kaya, actually. Why well, is there going to be two good ones in the same pack? I think we're just taking the Jace here. I don't love Copperline Gorge. We might be a Day of Judgment deck, actually. Let's Day of Judgment. Let's Knight's Whisper. All right. I don't think we're Needle Spires. Wow, this Scalding Tarn is just trash. You know what? I'll take Hazard. 
Oh, man. That's a legendary land. Through the breach. Deceiver Exarch. <laughs> Manatide came back. All right. Late Inferno Titan. So yeah, we're not playing the Scalding Tarn. We're just going to play mostly Abzan splashing uh, some blue cards. Or, there's only 22 playables actually. We do need even more, more playables from the sideboard here. Blood Chief's Thirst is playable. Okay, done. <laughs> Unexpectedly Absent is also playable. Does Yorion do anything for us? Blink's Rager. I think it's just worse than Lyra here. I mean, blinking ECD is actually very good, but it's, it definitely doesn't. It does more than that. I mean, even if we blink our Planeswalkers to reset them, that could be better than not doing that. I also don't hate Woe Strider. Man, that Cultivate would have been good. I'm kind of tempted to take Shoulder out because Double Black seems rough, but I don't know. I think Lyra's probably better than Yorion. I do kind of like Woe Strider over like unexpectedly absent. Hmm. It's really sad that Scalding Tarn is actually unplayable in this deck. It's true against claustrophobia effects. We got Savannah Scrubland and Bayou. We got all three Abzan lands. That's kind of cool. Okay. So this deck is something. Oh boy. All right, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten white, two, three, we're definitely adding another blue here, two, three, four, five, six, seven black, two, three, is that right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine green. Eight green. Yeah, this seems great. Lots of islands, but it's actually not bad. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to run turn just to shuffle. I mean, we could, sure, but And now we wait. I want to play first. Sure. Oh, one land? Nice. Okay. This will do. This will do. I'll keep it. 
I'm going to ship the Night's Whisper back because we don't have a black source. This is a turn three Jace. And really, what's better than that? Oh my god, are they gonna get a I'm gonna get a steam bed so that I'll play it on tap to that about a dazed or devoted druid. Okay. That did not do it. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so now it's either Elspeth or Jace. It might just be Elspeth here. Or we can just play it a Lyra. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm going to get the Jace down. Thank you. Oh, what's happening? Pester might. Yeah, you can put that on the bottom. Oral, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Turn one Jace is better than that. Is that what you said? My God. Well, of course it is, my dude. You hear these birds? No, you probably don't. I got the noise cancellation on. You can't hear anything. It sounds, it's really kind of nice. Cosima, huh? Thank you. Let's draw. Eric with the 10 more gifted subs? Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, we're definitely, thank you. Eric, dude, thank you so much, man. Oh my goodness. Eric, dude. Holy smokes. Thank you. What a friggin' what a hero. <laughs> oh, <Thank> hey, Eric. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, what's up? How you doing? Oh, good. Goodness gracious. Let's put Cosima back. One, two, three. Thank you. We have six mana. I think we just go Orzov, Signet, and Gideon. Thank and then you. next turn, if we hit a black, we can play Shieldred. We'll put Cosima Elspeth back. Play land. Thank you. So we'll have one, two, one. Like, cause we're at a point where we don't need the, the Dota Druid thank mana that you. much. So we're just going to play this. Eric, dude, thank you so much, man. That's unreal. This is so much support. I don't thank even know you. what to say. Oh, I don't even know what to say. All right. Well, we have two Planeswalkers out. We have the most Thank super you. of friends. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So they're clearly comboing when they have both zealous. Yeah, that's actually much better. Let's play old Lyra. Unfortunately, we're drawing Cosima next turn, but what are you going to do? Yep. Seems good. And I have two cards. We have two cards. Man. Felt really good. And that Zell's conscripts really uh really changed the day here. Okay. Well that's good. Even though I thought I put that on the bottom. I guess they played Solomon and then they shuffled. Yeah, alright. 
Wow. Not great, fucking Bob. <laughs> For the kids at the rec center, they're counting on you. One, two, three, four, five. This is only six mana. Yeah, I probably just got play set. This is, I mean, I'm trying to, I'm forcing them to, Thank uh, you. what in the earth? 30 subs in one day? Are you mad? Thank you. <laughs> What in the earth? I think the key was up until Wednesday, as usual. Oh my god, Eric, dude. Thank you. Dude. Dude, Eric. Dude. Dude. See, the question is, do they let their Pestermite go, which could, ruin the, which could enable their combo? Or do they let their already go? I'm actually kind of fine with either, I guess. Eric, dude, thank you so thank much, you. man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Those Jardine brothers are at it again. Thank you. Oh yeah, he's like, I'll let the the dude go. Thank you. <sighs> See now the question is, do I let Cosima go? Thank hmm. you. Maybe they knew Splinter Twins on the top though, and they're just like, oh, okay. Thank you. I mean, at nineteen, I'm not sure why they didn't. Uh, is Kevin up to no good again? <laughs> uh, I can't say. Thank you. I can't say. Plus the laughter, you don't, you watch, you watch, like, well, let, me, let me try to figure out how I'm going to phrase this. You watch far too many cube drafts of mine to not even have like a, you, to, you should have at least have, have some idea of how to, how to draft a cube. So I don't think it being your second time should matter that much. Thank okay, you. They're just coming in. Oh my god, all these thank yous. Thank you. Sure. Two lands, huh? I could have used that swamp. One, two. I guess thank I could use any land. I got two black sources. Thank you. Uh, it's fine, I guess. Rakdos signature. Is it not? I'm not. I'm not too impressed Thank right you. now. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this away. Tuck it away. And we're kind of hoping you to land. Then we can get a counter on Cosima, and we can play Shieldred. That's not a land, but it could be in one. Thank you. In some reality. Oh my god, you fucking idiot. Oh god. Thank you. Narset. 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 Just gonna keep saying Narset. Oh god. Yep, that was fun. It's frustrating because, like, in cube, one card could be the difference between winning and losing because the cards are so powerful. I mean, we're at 17. Still got to kind of hold on here. I think Narset is actually worse for us. Yep, sure. That's... God, all I had to do is this first and then play the stupid Rager. I mean, I think if it was Leovold, I would have been more more conscious of it. But the fact that it's Narset, and like Narset's less played than Leovold, and it's also like she's like sitting right in the background. It's just, I think it's easier to overlook. Still, no no great excuse, but oh, that's my Garrick. That's unfortunate. That's my Garrick. Thank 
thank you. Mayhem, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. 18 months. God, they grow up so fast, you know. I have seen the new Planeswalker previews from Strixhaven. One of them is this new Kazmina. Kazmina Enigma Sage. Three mana. I don't like that it's covering up the mana cost a little bit. That's kind of... I just don't like it. I don't feel like you should obscure relevant information on cards. Um, anyway, it's three mana for a two loyalty Planeswalker. Each other Planeswalker you control has the loyalty abilities of a Kazmina. So all your other Planeswalkers can plus two to scry, negative X to put a counter into play, or negative eight... Oh, and that, those are abilities. Plus two, you scry one, so she goes up to four. Negative X, create a zero, zero uh, green and blue fractal creature token. Put an X, one, one counters on it. So uh, for three mana, she's a gray ogre. She can make a two, two with her immediately. Or you can plus two her, then make a four, four, which is not terrible. It's a three mana, four, four that scries one. Um, negative eight, search your library for an instant or sorcery that shares a color with this planeswalker. So a blue or green sorcerer. Uh, so that means you can hit uh, Genesis ultimatum. You can hit cruel ultimatum, which are the important ones that I think. Exile that card, then shuffle. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. So that's kind of cool. Oh, you're going face again? So if I chump block here, she lives? That seems fine. And the other new Planeswalker was Professor Onyx. It's really nice to have Angelina Jolie finally in the, the magic world, magic universe. That's, that's nice. Um, uh, Magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, each opponent loses two life and you gain two. That's pretty good. Like you can just go like brainstorm, ponder, ponder, and then they take six and you gain six. I mean, that's a nice st static ability. Um, not to say this is going to be played in a format where you have access to all those cards. Um, there's the day of judgment we're looking for. It's in the graveyard now, but you know, nevertheless, it's, it's, it's interesting to see the potential. It starts at five. She costs six. Plus one, you lose a life. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest in your graveyard. Isn't that Ransack the Laboratory? That's a new card from Modern Horizons. Look at the top three cards. Put one of them in your hand and rest in the graveyard. Yeah, so her plus one is you lose a life and you Ransack the Library, which is pretty good. It's like, it's anticipate as well, except it goes to the graveyard instead of your bottom. Which is nice for a plus one. Uh, negative three, each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures that player controls. That's nice. Negative eight, each opponent may discard a card. If they don't, they lose three, and you repeat this process six times. So if they have no cards in hand, they take 21. That's kind of good. I mean, it's strategic planning, but it's also what I said, which is around Psych the Lab. So, you know, works both ways. Land? No. Jace Brin's Prodigy. Well. Hmm. So we would have drawn Jace, Jace last turn. We would be able to play Jace last turn. This turn we could have activated Jace flipped him and day of judgmented i think that would have uh been game changing i mean really just hoping they don't have removal for our jace but if they have removal for this soldier jace is probably in better shape okay that's also mine how nice so none of these are actually counting towards our the cards in hand.
Yep, that'll do. Okie dokie. Had to draw Mind Slaver there, I guess. Casualties of War. Well, that would have been good. Okay. Well. Oh, you're right, I would've gotten something other than Jace because Jace was our next draw between the the Thief hit and the Phyrexian. Maybe they'll just print a card called Fractal Identity. Similar, but different. Dude, Eric, thank you so much for the support this month. You're that's, you're you're far and away the highest sub donator. Brett, Brett's actually doing pretty good too. You guys are ridiculous, and I really really appreciate the support. Strix for kids. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. I like an Orzov signet. Oh yeah, go to six cards. The conscripts really was a game changer, I agree. Oh, dang it, why were you not here? So we're gonna play Orzov Sing. The next turn we can Knights Whisper and play Stirring Wildwood. And ideally we're setting ourselves up for a Vorin Clex. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. What can we get that's like very good? Whatever you wish to keep, you better grab it fast. I think we're going to save that until we really need it. Hit a Baleful Strix. That's kind of cool. Good for you. This looks like a completely different deck now. I don't even know what this deck is. I mean, you could obviously sack Mana Vault to get Baleful Strix back 100%. Yeah. That's a pretty, pretty easy play. Hmm. 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 All right. Very good. This is a completely different deck. This does not look like the same deck we just played against.
Demonic Tutor from Black Lotus. Solid. All right, solemn. What's our record so far? We are down one game so far. I don't hate that. Understand your orders in the sun. You gonna kill this? What are you gonna demon for? <laughs> I don't know, buddy. That's why we haven't played it yet. I'm probably gonna do it this turn though, because we'll have extra mana after Linvala. Hey man, what are you naming it for? Well, you know, the usual. What is this? Is this what? It's, man, there's like, if I have anything on my shirt, like it stands out like so much. It's so funny. Like there's a big white spot. I'm just like, wow, what is that? Like you can see this, like there's like a hair right there. And it's like really apparent. Daretti Spaghetti. I mean, I actually want to get rid of this guy because I don't want them to, uh... One, two, three... Block our Voron Clex was the, the phrase I was looking for. Hmm. Fascinating. I mean, Casualties is pretty good here. Elspeth Conquers Death is pretty good. Scarab God's pretty good. Those feel like our best choices here. Was it very apparent? I definitely could say that. Will I? We do not have second green yet, but... I mean, I think it's strong enough that, like, I'll take a risk and see if we hit a second green. Elspeth Conqueror's Death doesn't get anything yet. I think it might be Scarab God. They have Baleful Strix. I don't know. Because we're also hoping to hit the second green for Casualties and for Vorinclex, so... I'm going to get Scarab God, because if they end up killing Shieldred, I do want to have a, a backup for it. I think that's fine. Understand your orders. It's all over now, baby blue. Sure, they get the Baleful Strix back again. I mean, it's better than them casting with Emery, I guess, because they have to use like a million, uh, a million Duretti loyalties. What? Hmm. Okay. I mean, they can draw a card. That's fine. If they have, like, Burst Lightning. I mean, it'd be weird. I don't know why they'd have, like, a two-mana shooty.
cool. I always have the perfect fucking card every time. That's really kind of impressive. Really? You play that instead of Solemn? Oh, because you're probably going to just play Mind Slaver here. <sighs> of course you are. Wow. this is It's so surprising because it's like, wow, you know exactly what they're going to do every single time they do it. It's really impressive. Look, guys, a second green. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, casualties would have been sweet here instead of this. Then we can go artifact, planeswalker, creature, man. I wish I took, I wish I took casualties now. I just need to follow my, follow my dreams. Oh, there's no second black now because they killed my signet. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Nick, yes, that is correct. Splinter Twin gives the ability to the creature, so it shuts it off. So I'm trying to think of the worst they can do. If we play Vorinclex and kill their Duretti, I guess they have Baleful Strix to block that. It's really obnoxious. I mean, the only thing they can do that we're really afraid of is unexpectedly absent, I guess. So I'm pretty sure I actually just unexpectedly absent the Mind Slaver for like a million. So they're going to go through two, three. Sure. Four, three, two, and miss. Well, they need 10 mana in order to lock us out with with Emery, so I'm not super concerned with that. That's annoying. Okay, so they drew for the turn. So now we know they have... Wow, their deck is really significantly different than it looked in the first game. <laughs> their deck looks pretty decent. I don't know why you have a Sylvan Library in your deck. Yeah, that's not great. I can't tell you the number of times that my Vorinclex has been uh, been halted by a Baleful Strix. That's a lot, though. Like, it doesn't... It sucks because they can just keep replaying it. It's almost like... It's almost better for them to, to block with it and have it die because then they just get a free card every turn. I don't think we're winning this game, unfortunately. Can we wait a turn? What does that do? We could just play Vorin Clexon plus. And that puts Elspeth to nine, which is decent. Okay, so they're going to draw for the turn. They're going to find Mind Slaver again. How are we dead if they discard Slaver? I 
I mean, they play slaver for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can't, they activate it for two. Like, they didn't discard it, which is interesting. Like, oh, they didn't have it in hand, so they couldn't have discarded it. Like, it was the top card of their deck, so it's in their hand now. It's the last card in their hand. Sure, you got it. Watch, we're going to draw casualties of war because... <laughs> Okie dokie. That seems good. Another green source, huh? Oh, boy. So they play Mind Slaver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine, ten with Mana Crypt. That's perfect. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think they're dead. I'm pretty sure they just lock us out with Mind Slaver. They activate it. Next turn, they can Goblin Welder, exchange Mana Vault with Mind Slaver, do it again. Emery, recast the Mana Vault. Next turn, activate Mana Vault, or switch the two out. Yeah, that's just lock, right? Just making sure there's nothing we can really do here. Six, this is eight damage in the air from a Baleful Strix. They can also make a second copy of Baleful Strix, which is pretty fantastic. Um, yeah, I just think we're dead here. Unfortunate. Oh, we actually don't even have black for Shieldred, so that's not even really an option. Uh, we don't have nine mana <laughs> for that, nor do we have two black sources. So there are several reasons why we can't do that. Also, new rule, you can't actually call me out for a punt if you make suggestions like that in the chat, k Flanks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like... Oh, uh, good times. This work thing is really cutting into my frank time. Gotta go. Unforgiven. Have a good uh have a good work, buddy. Hopefully I'll see you later. I mean, blocking with Linvala was unfortunate, but I'm, I'm not going to, like, assume that they would have no way to kill Linvala in the next six turns or seven turns. Like, that seems a little ambitious. So the question is, do we want double? I think we want double black. I think we want Scrubland here. Uh, double green is good, too, though. Garrick is double green. We definitely want double white. I guess we're getting... Yeah, we'll get the... We'll get this... The Savannah. I think double green and double white is a little bit better. It's always going to be a white no matter what. Um, so in that case, we're probably going to get a Temple Garden. Blue source. Okay. I mean, I'm actually tempted to just get a land. Yeah, I mean, it sucks, but like it guarantees us a land. And being able to drop down a Jace is good. Is that better than a Jace? Probably, right? No, I don't know. Like, both are going to let us see one card deeper next turn. 
Yeah, I'll just play Rager. Well, that's not the card we're looking for. Okay, wait, what? Well, okay, okay. No fourth land. Hell, no third land, to be quite honest. <laughs> Get in there, Phyrexian Rager. What's my favorite vintage cube archetype draft? I actually have no idea, to be quite honest with you. I do enjoy a good channel. Uh, sure. Not my J's. Oh, we're paying. Oh, boy. Good old fashioned time walk. Hmm. That's what living the dream feels like. Um, I assume it's just Elspeth here. And then we'll presumably be crushed next turn. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably ten mana. Yeah, we're living that. <laughs> Our dream is delayed. It's a delayed dream. Much like many things in my life. <sighs> Why didn't I just play Plague Wind? I don't know. I wasn't sure the upside was worth it. Okay, that guy's pretty good. Are you gonna are you, you aren't gonna spin the wheel? Yeah, she can take two. I did not see Danny Trejo's spoiler card. It's kind of hilarious that Danny Trejo gets spoilers though. I don't even I don't get spoiled. I was gonna say I'm not not that I'm Danny Trejo, but like I'm a magic player. That's gotta count for something, right? I think we're gonna keep this. I mean, was it this one or is it another Black Planeswalker? I can't imagine there's two Black Planeswalkers. I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this guy jump because they're a 15. Like, oh, uh, I used to get spoiler cards regularly. Yeah. Actually, you know what? It's interesting because I used to be, I used to write our spoiler cards for TCG Player. Cool stuff gave me the spoiler when uh, we had one for like M20, I believe. Whatever the Soren, um, the three mana Soren was, whatever that one was, we had that. So it's funny because like most of the sites I write for will give me spoilers. But Wizards has never directly been like, here's a spoiler card. And it kind of sucks. But what are you going to do? Ah, control magic.
Sure. I mean, Jace being able to bounce the Linvala would be great here. Can we do that? No. No, we cannot. Hmm. Is really like treachery, and I'm gonna be like, okie dokie. It's just throwing wild. Oh, yeah, I guess we did know what we were hitting, so. I don't know. I was like, oh, we didn't draw the card we were hoping to hit. Oh, good. Here we go. Crater Huff. Crater Huff me. I don't know. I paid 10 for you for Crater Huff. That seems kind of silly. Okay, 11 mana. I assume it's either an Ulmog or a Green Sun for Progenitus. Those are my guesses. Nope, just an upheaval. Yep, that's not worth my fucking time. All right, cool. Yep. Hmm. Let's take out Lyra for Liliana. I wish I had better ways to deal with enchantments like control magic or artifacts. Whatever. What are you going to do? Hands are off. One black source. We got this Phyrexian Ranger coming out. We're going to be mana tithing, though. Okie dokie. Yeah, not gonna not gonna be countering that black source. No, but I will take a ponder, sure. Oh, this is actually perfect. So one, two, three, let's go. Let's go Bayou. Next turn we can play. So we're gonna draw the Bayou. We'll play that this turn. Let's put Liliana last. We'll go this, this, and this. No shuffs. Play this. Pass the turn. Everybody look left. Everybody look right. No, oh, Krakus. Well, that's really good against Linvala, the card I was planning on playing in the next couple turns. Uh, I do not need the second white first because I don't plan on casting either of these uh, before... Um, before we... I mean, like, I'm not going to cast those with mana tied up is basically what I'm saying here.
what steps do I have already? I mean, there's like six of them in the queue. Oh yeah, that's getting manatized. He's trying to upheaval over here and he's going to be playing Gilded Lotus. How deep is your love? How deep? And they could just bounce Linvala, which is pretty unfortunate, but they're going to have to use a mana for it, which they have no problem doing. They're just going to treachery this. They're going to Thrag Tusk. Okay. No, soundboard's still fine. I use it regularly. <laughs> I mean, DMCA only affects music. Like, I've never had an issue with, like, a, a, a clip from a movie, personally. I guess we're just passing here. Like, I don't want a day of, day of judgment into one Thrag Tusk. I don't want a Blood Chief's Thirst this, and I don't want Elspeth Conquers Death it. I will, however, block because I'd rather get a block out of this, give them the chance to put more guys on the board if we are going to Day of Judgment. So, hmm, okay. See, now, even if we Elspeth Conqueror's death, we still get something back, which is just nice. Having a Caracas for their Golos is pretty unfortunate, though. <laughs> so we're drawing multiple. See, they have a Caracas, and we have the legendary creature stipulation. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's unfortunate. Yeah, if we all split the goalless, they just bounce it back to their hand. Ugh, that's really fucking brutal. It's not going well. Not going well. I mean, we could also put two legends on the board. They just bounce one on our turn, bounce one on their turn, attack for five, six, seven, eight. We go to eight. I mean, the thing is, if they do that, it at least taps their Caracas next turn, which lets us Elspeth. But you know, it's a it's a pretty bad it's a pretty bad deal. So we literally just trying to make the best of a bad situation here, mostly. And see, this is actually kind of what we were hoping they would do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I'm also going to kill this because we're at eight. So like, we don't really have a ton of wiggle room here. I mean, we could play Cosima here, but what's the point? Like they just bounce it. <laughs> oh, 
just really you're just gonna run a snapcaster out there it's fascinating i'm not forgetting vista i just want to I, I have no reason to play it this turn there's literally no benefit to it plus we have cosima who if there's if something comes up that we can actually get counters on her we can play two lands so hmm. let's see this is why we This is how we this is how we live the dream here. The dream being like kill two lands. Kill a land and a snapcaster. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, alright. I mean it still gets rid of the yeah, creature land, cast, this guy, this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's still something. <laughs> no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're living the dream. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen from now. I mean, I'm sure they're just going to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm sure they're just going to upheaval here for nine, float three, replay their land, have. Four to six man, four to five mana available. Play something big. Those are my, those are my theories. Those are my working theories. Okay, I mean we can get rid of treachery. So that's actually pretty good. We can kill their treachery. One, two, three, four, five. Still play Jays. Yeah, exile that lady. Ooh, I like that. All right, we are living some sort of dream here. Hmm. Oh, that's got to be better, right? Or actually, we can discard Vorinclex. Wait. What's happening here? One, two. I think we discard Vorinclex. Put a counter on Cosima. Um, what does this guy copy? Anything relevant right now? Ponder is even fine. One, two, three, four, five. Big Lils. Big Lils pays the bills. Get this guy out, plus that dude. I have no idea what the three cards are. I'm assuming one is an upheaval and they just haven't been satisfied with their, their upheaval options. And now you get to see. They're like, well, I guess I don't have a choice now. <laughs> so now they get to upheaval. Nine total mana. Yep, you can tell they have three floating, so.
I mean, I'd rather have Force of Negation because I can actually cast that rather than Force of Will, which I absolutely cannot cast. I don't know what's going on. Just cast the upheaval and let us restart our game in a miserable fashion while I'm at five. Four islands, three forest, island, 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 forest, 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 sylvan, tomb. <sighs> One island down. One sylvan down. So, you know, let's see. Everything below upheaval is getting discarded. This is just extremely miserable for everybody. I don't... Oh, we still have Cosima, actually. That's kind of cool. We can actually just put a Cosima into play here. Let's go land Cosima. What did they discard? Island, forest, forest. So island, forest, forest. So we know they have four lands and the 19 other cards. Oh, boy. I don't actually know if we want a Cosima here. No. The, the reason is, I guess we do. We can draw one card. We're going to discard a bunch here. <laughs> sure. You know what? It's a three. It's a three, five. We hit another land. Okay. Um, get rid of Vorinclex. He's a big boy. Uh, we have Swamp and Bayou. Get rid of this and this. So we need to get rid of eight cards, huh? That's three so far. We can get rid of this. One, two, three, four. Hmm. So the lands we want are Bayou, Savannah, Island. Probably get rid of second island for now. We're going to play Jace on turn two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You and you. I think it's Elspeth Conquers Death over like something else. Uh, we don't want to, we have a Savannah right here. What are you guys, are you guys, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> all right. This is a reasonable hand, all things considered. I feel like our hand has to be better than their three random card hand with two mana. Like we get to go Jace followed by Demonic Tutor, which can get a land if we need another land. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm, second blue. This guy gets to flip next turn. Okay, so tomb is gone. So now we know you have island, island, forest, some other nonsense. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Still no. Interesting. Don't hate that. We're probably pitching island here. Keep up Savannah. Or keep up unexpectedly absent, rather. Boy, this is a game. I thought this was just over. I'm going to close my window because it's getting very cold. Hold on.
Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 36 degrees Fahrenheit. 36. I feel like I was a little ambitious with my window opening. Doesn't do anything really. Sure. So you know they played Forest, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the last time I counted this, actually. I think it was only one turn, right? They played another Island. I think they have Island Forest and two, two random cards. So it shuts this off, shuts this off, shuts this off, shuts this off. So that's decent. Regrowth, getting back. <laughs> Crack. <laughs> oh, Christ. Never gets easier. Oh, good times. How nice. Euro is the best card you can get with your natural order. And they still have two blue mana up. That is unfortunate. Oh, yep. That's what I was afraid of. I was like, one of these days I'm going to accidentally hit yes. Oh, I accidentally hit yes. All right. This game's pretty much over. Yeah. This is just exhausting and annoying. All right. O2. Have not won a game yet, unfortunately. Judge M. Key, we did not pick a winner this time. What can you do? It happens. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you can casualties again. I can't even explain to you how, how many reasons we cannot casualties due to the fact that we have four mana rather than six. Due to they have a, uh, a Glenelinger Archmage with two activations on it. Uh, you know what? I'll keep it. Sure. Oh, did we get to go first? What a deal. What a bargain.
Oh, Rager again? God dang. We're taking two from Rager, two from Night's Whisper, two from Temple Garden. Might as well be modern over here. You got a Death Shadow in this deck? Well, K Flix, that is how stipulations go sometimes, my dude. That is how they work out. Mm, no. Just going to play regular old Swamp here. Oh, that was nice. I like it. Now we can go Cosima next turn. Two, three, Cosima. Buddy, I don't even have a single white source on my whole board right now. Well, that guy's good. I'm going to kill it. Oh, I like this. We can actually Blood Chief's Thirst. Uh, yes, we can go. We can Blood Chief's Thirst and Ponder this turn. Add a counter. Did we do it wrong? Is it is it any is it anywhere on a permanent or player? But it's not a permanent, right? Like it's it's removed from the game. What the f god damn it? These stupid fucking interactions, man. Yeah, we're shuffling this for sure. Wow. I'm that's so fucking stupid. Just got to do it in the correct order, I guess. Okay. Well, now I now I've learned my lesson. Wow, that's really unfortunate. Casualty's getting better. Play a Planeswalker here. I don't think this is a Planeswalker. What does it say? If an, if, if, if an opponent would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, they put half that many of each of those kind of counters on that permanent or player instead. I thought cards were only permanents when they were in play. This is a spell when it's not in play, right? Like this card. Uh, I don't know. That seems really weird. Didn't I shuffle this? What did I see with the shuffle? Linvala and something else, right? Like... What is going on in this game? Am I having a stroke? Oh, so it's, it's I switched the Lyra for like a Day of Judgment? We're taking two here. Okay, let's see. Let's put a counter out this time, huh? Add a counter. I, I did not think that would affect that. I'm going to look up permanent magic. MTG permanent. Permanent. A permanent is a card or token on the battlefield. A card or permanent, a card or token becomes a permanent as it enters the battlefield, and it stops being a permanent as it's moved to another zone. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like this says, if an opponent would put one or more counters on a permanent, I'm not. This is not a permanent right now. Or player, not going on here. It's like, yeah, it's like a Vindicate killing a commander. That's why you can't target things. Like, this is not, yeah, that definitely should have put a counter on it, unless I'm absolutely out of my out of my mind. Which I don't think I am. One, two, three.
Yeah, so that's cool. The worst part is I'm like, did I miss? I didn't think I was like, I don't think I'm misplaying. I don't think Vorinclex is going to remove counter. But then I'm like, no counter on this. I played an island. And then I was like, did I say no when it asked me for a counter? And then I'm like, no, that's not an option because the two options are return it to play or put a counter on it. You can't not put a counter on it. Okay, no basalt monolith and noble hierarch. This is actually kind of kind of decent here. Do we just day of judgment first though? That was a good draw too, because it's our second white for the two white cards in our hand. Let's get in there. Get in there, you little turkey. You should call a judge on the client. Uh, judge, please. All right, so we're going to go one, two. Let's do a little day. Little day. And a counter. Cosima's actually pretty reasonable. I mean, I, I feel like I should definitely request a refund, though, because, like, it did affect the game, and, like, if something goes wrong in a game and it ruins my experience and pulls me out of the game, like, why just give me my play points back? Like, it's it's a negligible currency. Two, three, eight, three, two, two, seven, seven, seven. Actually, yeah, two, three, eight, three, two, two. Two, three, eight, three, two, two, seven, seven, seven. League. I don't never need the league information. 704 and it happened when did it happen 419 we'll say 4 19 p.m mdt on the day it is 3 21 oh boy uh one two three four five six seven eight i think we just actually play boring collects first because then our planeswalkers get big big Vorino. I mean, they get to do whatever they want next turn, but hopefully they don't kill us, I guess. On the bright side, if we play a land, it might give two counters to Cosima. So, you know, that's kind of cool, I guess. That's a thing. Ooh, they did not discard with survival, so maybe they just don't have anything. Was playing a league match. And my Cosima. Oh, they discarded Crater Hoof to get Wall of Blossoms. Okay. Watch this. Let's see if two Thank counters you. go on Cosima. You ready? Three. What? <laughs> so, so if I have Warren Clegs. One counter goes on. If you have it, no counters go on. Oh my god. <laughs> what a what an amazing what a what a time to be alive. That's gorgeous. That's amazing. The spaghetti strikes again. This guy's got twelve counters on him, brah. For 16, 16 Gideon. <laughs> God, that, that could almost survive a freaking crater hub here. Get in there. That's amazing. And my Cosima. I'm writing up the, the description. What's her name? What's her last name? God of the Voyage. That's her last name. Uh-oh. 
four. Oh, oh dear. No, don't like that. No, don't like that. Also, pernicious dude, thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Wow, that's that's something. I mean, if we hit a land, we're just drawing three, which is nice. That's. Oh, this is a prismatic vista, isn't it? This is just draw an extra card. Yeah, we're gonna vista here. Um, vista. Windows prismatic vista. Add a counter. Crack it. Uh, kind of just want an island here, even though I guess we can play Linvala off of this this turn. Oh, she's going to be huge, though. Oh, wow. That's a 10-12. God damn. That's pretty good. Uh, how do we play Jace or Linvala? I think we just bounce this guy and, and kill them, right? Like, that's the that's the dream, right? Winning the game? Winning the dream. Winning the dream is a good, a good plan. You get to kill three of my lands. You know what? So be it. The God of Voyage received no counters. This is incorrect. As she's neither a permanent nor a player. I was playing a league at a match of Vintage Cube. I played a land while my opponent had a Vorn Collects Monstrous Raider out, and my Cosima God of the Voyage received no counters. This is incorrect as she's neither a permanent nor a player. That's my that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Is it a permanent is it, if it's an exile? No, it's not. Cards are not permanents unless they're on the battlefield. I mean, either way, like it doesn't matter. Like that that argument became irrelevant once we realized that it doesn't get a counter when they have Warren Clex, but it doesn't get two counters when we have Warren Clex. So either way, it's inconsistent. If it's a permanent, she should get zero and two counters. If it's not a permanent, she should get one and one counter. Neither of those is correct. So it, either way, it's inconsistent, right? Hmm. I'm almost tempted to Lilian to, to living. I feel, I feel like Liliana should just been in the main deck. She's actually pretty good. He says as he takes Liliana out. Take unexpected lamps and I'll bring Liliana in. It's double blue though. Double black rather. Uh they haven't not given you a refund just because you won the game in a while. <laughs> you said bring I don't know what I took out. What did I take out? Because I'm missing a card now. Oh, the unexpectedly absent. Yeah, that card's poop though, so. I'm just kind of bringing mana ties. I know they got mana, but like, I don't care. I don't even care. This is actually fine. Sylvan Library round two is where you want to be. Plus, we have one of our uh, white sources for both of these guys, so I'm okay with that. They have 37 cards, and they went to they have seven what 44 cards. What is happening right now? I know I'm a I know I'm a I'm a, I'm a maverick here playing 41 every so often, but is Time Spiral Draft fun? I imagine Time Spiral Draft is great. Um, original Time Spiral was was a fantastic draft format, so I imagine the remastered is also very, very good. Okay. So. Sylvan Library here. Ideally, they just play a bunch of fucking dirtles that don't impact the board. We get to Wrath of God. That's all I want to do. What is this? One, two, three, four. This is five mana, so they're going to acidic slime. No, they're going to Garrick. Okay, casualties looking decent. I bought a mini pie. <laughs> you know, like you do. Like, like you do. Well, 
Well, I don't want to play that. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. I'm going to pay four just for... Just for the lulls here. I'll put you back on top. Play a land. I mean, like, we'd lose Devoted Druid, but it also... Was there a land? Was there a land? There was a land on top, right? Like, we don't need Devoted Druid. It's not ramping us into anything, and Day of Judgment might just be our... Our plan next turn. Now I must go to the gym and suffer for my mini pie. <laughs> what flavor mini pie? That is the question. I'm surprised you didn't actually mention the flavor. Kurt's going to be like, I got a lemon mini pie. And we're all going to be like, oh dear. Blue berry. Two words. Blue berry. Oh boy, yeah, this is kind of what we were afraid of, right? And I think now we die. Should have played the Devoted Druid, I guess. It doesn't really do much, though. This is so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That doesn't do anything, really. Man, we came so close to winning the last round as a as a little sweeps. Ew, are they gonna do something else? What else you got? You got Crater Hoof? Wait, what? How is their Garrick at six? Wasn't it just at four last turn? Garrick starts at three. They played it on turn three. Then on turn four, they plus it again. It's two activations on five. Okay, sure. Maybe I'm going crazy. I think I'm having a stroke. All right, well, next game. I mean, turn five Terastodon or whatever is pretty unbeatable, so. I'm going to bring an Oust instead of Manatide, actually. I mean, just being able to tuck like a Rafelos is pretty strong. Oh, yeah, this is a hand. This is a hand. Oh, I'm just going to skip my whole turn here. Let's uh, go to the second main. Play this by you. Yeah, I'm like, now I have like, uh, now I have like Vorinclex PTSD where I'm like, oh dear, did they just get two counters on their Garrick? Did you almost have six? No, just click through the second main. Wow, this is this is incredible. Okay, so 
Oh, no payoff? Oh boy. Jumping Jiminy's. Oh, the oust. The oust. I mean, we're definitely paying four to keep both of these, right? Put you on top. I'd like to just play Cosima, but I really don't want to, like, risk them. Like, this is just too good here. Hmm. One Rufellos. I guess we'll say two Rufellos. <sighs> Let's ponder here. I know we got a Jace on top. I kind of want to ship this. We don't have a second white. We don't have a fifth land. Any order and yes, shuffle. Oh boy. Yeah, now we're now we're living the dream. Here, I'll show you guys the the pie Kerwit had. He's he sent it to me. That was a beautiful image. It looks really good. It's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Okay, Savannah's nice. Now I don't have to take damage from this stupid tumble garden. Um, put you on top. Okay, now we know they're going to draw their fellows. So, yep, there he is. And we're definitely Elspething this Oko. Interesting. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. So we have seven total mana. It's not really what we're looking for here. We also don't get anything back, which is unfortunate. Oh, wait, we can go, well, we can go day in Cosima. I don't want to day first because like then they just make more things. Plus I want to I want to just get Oko off the board. It does keep this guy around, which is probably more problematic to be quite honest. Maybe it is just I think it's actually they well they don't get one food. Like we can Prince Spring Cosima this turn too. Because then they're just going to turn it into an elk. I guess we can wait to play Cosima too, but then we're not doing anything else. We're literally just... Ugh. Put on top. I want to pay four to keep. Going to ten seems fine here. We're not like super... Concerned. Two, three, four. They. No. Beast. It's not the best work, but it's a living. Also, we might be able to just Monstrous Raider next turn. Plus Garrick to three. It's one, two, three, four, five. A lot of mana. Come on, something good. That'll do, yeah. Um, put on top, put on top. Yes, we get one, two, three, four, we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Black, this, green, green. 
is picking up the slack. But these two gum shoes got them. Yep, that was pretty good. My God, are we one twoing? Jojo MK, are we doing it? Okay, that's fair. That was a good casualty. I mean, Sylvan Library's been doing a ton of work here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven total mana. That's what she said. Three, four, five, six. We're just going to play Boring Click because he's big boy. All right, they're at nine. They can kill Garrick, but I mean, Garrick was going to die anyway. The Tundering Titan in my hand is so sad right now. But I'm happier, so we've got that going for us. We have a good time. Yeah, that Casualties of War was bananas. Oh, man. One, two, not the best, but God, forcing to take legendaries is really, it's really restricting. But either way, always appreciate the support. Always appreciate the steps, Jojo MK. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we, we stuck to it. We did good. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head on over to Twitch and be sure to subscribe if you're able to. It's a great way to support the content. It's uh, one of the main ways you can, you can help me live as a human being and survive and eat food and drive a car live in a society. Help me out. Subscribe, follow, do the things. I'll see you later.